Let's get thing two involved now. Now thing two to have the color black because I didn't actually specify one here, and that's totally fine. So it's tempting to make an entire uh, second for loop where you just replace all the T's by T2. But what that's going to do is probably not what you are hoping because it's going to do everything with T, the original T, and then it's going to basically do it all again. And that sleep command is way too slow. We see that going, going, going. And then here's the other one going. I wanted both of them on the screen at the same time. Still think it's not fast enough. All right, so we're going to put the draws together. Then we're going to sleep separately. Then put the erases together. Uh, and then the moves together. And then I no longer need the second for loop. Beautiful. There we go. Shooting rectangles, fantastic. Okay. So we got two. Uh, I'm still not using clear anywhere. So why did I make it? I could, instead of a race, I could use a clear and it basically, think of it as it overwrites everything with some big gray panel, big gray rectangle, and then you can no longer see what was there. So that's another thing you can do instead. And I think this makes the code look a lot cleaner right here. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is make these objects a lot smarter by adding more methods. And then what we're gonna do is make more of them running around, bouncing off the walls.